I play Dr. Facilier. Um, and he's a schemer. He's a conjurer and a sorcerer of sorts. And I got friends on the other side. Yes. Are you ready? I think of him as a delicious bad guy. He'll be on that roster of wonderful Disney villains. <laughs> Hear even the softest footfall. I applaud your cleverness, Mrs. Richards. But even when a panther cannot hear his victim, he can always detect the scent. Hello, hairless grunt. If I can't have Kerchak's family, I'll take this one. I've waited a long time for this grunt. The Guardians would be wise to step aside. A new order to the universe is coming. One that will be written in fire. And with the blood of all who oppose me, you would be wise to join me. <laughs> Hello, HD DVD and Blu-ray. And you've brought all your remaining formats to me. Finally, I can add you all to my queue of destruction. Get out of my way, old man. I just want to go home. Now move or be moved. As of now, you work for me. And your job is very simple. Give me my space. Understand? All I want is a little peace and quiet. Got it, fat boy? So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, but where are my manners? What's your name? Yeah, that is ridiculous. Now give me the necklace. Well, I'm gonna go inside your head with this 10 pound dirty diaper. Little Kryptonian. So proud of your powers. Did you truly believe yours was the only race to come from a world with a red sun? Elisa, what a pleasant sight to greet us as we awaken. They are fascinated by the things they see on the television. Every night they rush to turn it on. But welcome to our home. Especially now that Xanatos has been defeated and this castle is truly ours once more. My angel of the night keeps nothing from me. We have no secrets from each other. No need to rush off, Goliath. I'm more than willing to share my sanctuary. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Kill me or release me, Parasite. But do not waste my time with talk. There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. We were not defeated. The Turtle King created the veil that hid the frogs from us. The cowards chose to hide instead of fight. Tear down the veil so that my army can take the Amphibolans. And a third of the spoils will be yours. Have you ever seen anything like this before? It is a plantation operation. A boat like this loads up at port, signs on as many men as it can hold, then goes out for months, sometimes years at a time, however long it takes to fill their stores. <laughs> You're not getting off that easy. Sick em, rooster. Gentlemen, enchanté. A tip of the hat from Dr. Facilier. How y'all doing? Now, isn't this a whole lot better than hopping around the bayou for the rest of your life? Gotta hand it to you, Tiana. When you dream, you dream big. Just look at this place. Now you are gonna spend the rest of your life being a slimy little frog. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. About, Gentlemen, one you. at a time. Simon, what? stand down. Everybody, stand down. I'm the leader of these people, and I'm unarmed. There's no need for any more snake makery. Or maybe, just maybe, we're all real. You know me, I'm Reverse Giraffe. I have a short neck and legs. I went to college with Hammer Eye. Hey! I saved Ghost in a Jar's life in Vietnam. We must capture it before they do. Still, when I gaze upon them, I see their courage. Others would have despaired, but they go onward as comrades. I can respect them.
Flexarium. This compound should be under lock and key at our main lab, not out here. Who's responsible for this? Mr. Rook is outside right now about to address the media. How fast can you get this cleaned up? Well, Abu, it's about time you pulled your weight around here. Is that the best you can do? You mangy beast. Go back out there and get something good. Something gold! I've never stopped looking for you. As your king, my love for you is eternal. Everything was fine until you found the magic emerald of Khufu. Hmm. What is it you seek? Speak! Bold words. But know you that my daughter is a rare jewel. She cannot be wooed by just any ragamuffin prince. Why did you come here? To be different is to be special. I'm not sure that I'm able to help you with that. Perhaps you would be more comfortable in your cave. Wasn't it easier when you had a human taking care of you? No. I'm not the other anything. I'm me. I just can. Well, you're clearly the expert on these things. After all, I'm just a big fat wusspus. Froggies and gentlemen, welcome to the Froggy Olympic Games. And this year's champion who wins the entire games will also be given the honor of marrying my daughter, Princess Froglegs. If we can find her. Humans provide no challenge. Mechanic, refit. No challenge at all. But you will make amusing trophies. What do you mean, me? No, 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 no. <laughs> Tomorrow you start playing a vital role in the community. The morning cockadoodle, you'll be one step closer to Roosterhood. Walk with me. Jake, you speak with deep conviction. We did not always live underground. We lived above in the trees. But then the settlers came, and we were forced into hiding. My man, there he is. Nah, I can park this van any way I want. The tape? Oh, sure. In about six to eight weeks, we're still in pre-production. You dare to oppose me? This Ready world is an everlasting nightmare. Drugs were still being pushed. Innocent people were still getting killed. All we did was turn into vice kings that wore purple. You owe me, player. If it wasn't for me, you would have died on that street corner. Really? Well, that must be fascinating. So tell me, what are your thoughts on the Battle of Kosovo of 1389? Well, well, not even as it applies to the rise of modern Serbian nationalism. Calm down. At our last meeting, we voted 6-2 to two to postpone using the Zeus Cannon to attack the Leonid Meteor. We have reconvened today to vote on that very issue again. Now, I'd like to ask the director of the Bioetheric Center to speak. Thank you, Hammerhead. Gentlemen, I'll get right to the point. For the last four months, a pest has plagued our operations. At first, I could hardly credit the reports. Establishing patterns of movement took all summer. But last night, we had confirmation. The Spider-Man is real. 